this video we'll be discussing about how we can easily create tool tips interactive tool tips in adobe photoshop so uh, basically what a tool tip is uh, tool tip is basically explaining about that particular option feature or field without actually clicking on it just by taking a mouse on top of it and you'll you'll get a pop-up box like uh, this uh, uh, coming out of nowhere explaining of what this particular option does right so let's just quickly get on to adobe xd and we'll discuss on how we can create a tooltip very easily right so for the video i'll just create a new artboard okay so like uh, example i just showed you uh, here we have a circle box with circle basically circle shape and a plus icon so this is an add kind of uh, button and we need to create a interactive prototype where we can have a example of what a tooltip is and how it looks like so uh, we'll just go back there and we'll create a circle here i'll just press the shift key to make the circle perfectly in shape and uh, maybe for the tutorial sake i'll just keep it as 72 pixels and uh, i'll just remove the border i'll add a fill color uh, of let's say this green color right then i'll create lines okay i'll take uh, this thing as four maybe and i'll round the corners for the lines then i'll duplicate this and rotate it to 90 pixels so we have a good looking plus there right i'll just command g these group these okay and i'll place them at the center of the circle and i'll change the color of this to white right so we have a button here that we can use anywhere uh, easily so now the thing is uh, we have two elements here one is the icon and the second one is the background color okay so we'll just uh, group these two command g control g on windows We'll say button. Okay, B didn't come because my keyboard is having a lot of trouble right now. So button, and uh, as soon as you take your mouse on top of it, we need to have a box or a uh, kind of a chat bubble telling me that what this particular button does, right? So for that, we need one more shape that could be a rectangle. So generally, the tool tips are on the top, but let's say this button was supposed to be on the header here so if i take uh, my mouse here and i see any tooltip coming out of it so that will be coming below it so it completely depends on the design and the split the placement of that particular button where your tooltip would be coming right so in this example i'll take the topmost position for this so let's say i'll create a box here uh, maybe this must pick that's okay uh, I'll curve the edges to let's say four or eight pixels, four pixels or eight pixels, right? And I'll decrease the height to let's say 40 pixels, maybe 60, right? And uh, maybe I'll just make this as a gray shape, right? And to make it look like a chat bubble that is coming out of this. Uh, uh, button i need to have a this triangular shape uh, attached to this thing so what i'll do is i'll just quickly create a triangle below it right and uh, flip it decrease the height of it a little bit remove the border fill it with the same color of that box to make it look an integral part of it so if i'm doing the actual design what i'll be doing is i'll just select both the shapes so this is add so i'll just add these two shapes so these this is now a one single shape but i can still double click on any of these shapes to edit just that particular one so if i'm not happy with the thickness of this thing i can still work on that so that way and let's say if i want to have a little bit curved this thing i can do that I'll probably increase the size of it so it blends in nicely like this. So we have a good looking uh, box here. So maybe I'll just keep it around eight pixels away from it. And I can put this particular shape inside a different group. Okay, so this will be called as a 
tool tip group okay and inside this group uh, i want to have a text layer on top of it so my text layer could be add button feature Right. So now, based on my text, if I'm not happy with the thick, with the width of this box, I can just uh, control click this particular box, and I'll uh, reduce the size of it. So my, our tooltip is ready. But to now, to make it interactive, because we cannot keep the tooltips like this, because obviously there can be five buttons just in just as in, in this example. So there are four more buttons, and if I want to have tooltips on all four of these, uh, so they'll be overlapping each other right so it's better to have uh, interactive prototypes when you're giving it to the stakeholders or to developers or to anyone who's going to work on these so uh, for this what i'll now do is i'll just uh, select both of these groups uh, and i'll make one more group i'll command g or uh, Control z on windows and i'll say button again for this one Right, and I'll right click and say make component. So uh, this is the default state, but I don't want this to be my default state. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, hide my tool template. All right, and uh, maybe I'll just remove this tool template from it. So what I'll do right now is I'll just press command X or control X. So that way only this area is my clickable area right now. And from the after selecting the main component layer, I'll just go to the components main window here and I'll click on add and I'll say hover state. Okay, so now what I'm doing is uh, since I've selected the hover state, so whatever changes I'll make to this particular layer, right, this particular component group inside this, whatever changes I'll make, those will happen only when I'm hovering my mouse on this button. Okay, so now I'll command V, control V, press it. So I'll get uh, my tooltip back, right? So now if I go on my default state, I don't have that tooltip. On my hover state, I have my tooltip. So our work here is done. To see the preview of it, I'll just click on the preview. And as soon as my, I take my mouse on top of it, you can see how beautifully this tooltip works, right? So this is just an example and the appearance of the tooltip can actually be based on the design system that you are going to follow for your product, right? Or whatever design system you have created. And this tooltip is also a part of that design system. So it might be possible that it is already there in your design system. If you are taking care of any existing project or if you're working on a new project, you might be required to make this thing. So this option has to go inside your design system as well, right? Okay, so this can be for a text, this can be for a button, this can be for any particular section or any image, whatever the requirement comes, wherever the requirement comes, this tool tip can be there. Okay, so if you learn, if you have learned anything from this video, please do like and subscribe uh, to the channel. That really helps us. And if you think this is good for your friends, uh, do share this video with them and stay connected. Have a good day. Thank you.